Hello everybody, Internet here back again with some thoughts about uh, this Australian Open final that we saw a couple days ago. I did make a reaction video a couple days ago about this final, but I, I don't know, I am feeling that I want to do, I want to make another one really, because um, I, pre I pretty much said everything in that reaction video, but I feel that I have to say some uh, more things. I said in the, in my reaction video that Novak Djokovic made a fabulous, fabulous match, which of course he did. He definitely, he definitely did one of his best matches in his career. The the look, the Poil match and the Nadal match. He he uh, himself admitted that those two matches was probably his best matches that he has ever played. In the Poil match in the semi-finals. He only did five on first arrows, and in the Nadal match, he only did um, nine on first arrows. So, in total, it's uh, 14 on first arrows in two matches, which is really, really impressive. So, I don't, I don't want to take anything away from Novak Djokovic's performances. That was really, really good. It was a uh, out of this world performance, really. I don't think Novak Djokovic can play better than than that, really. But I want to say something about Rafa Nadal's performance. Uh, he definitely, he definitely did, didn't do any great performance, to say the least, people. Uh, 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 Nadal, he, he started the match, in my opinion, uh, pretty nervous. You, can, you, 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 you could feel that Nadal has a tremendous respect for Novak Djokovic, which is, which is pretty... Uh, 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 which is pretty. I can I, I can understand that because he has lost so many times against Djokovic, and Djokovic is Nadal's kryptonite, really. Not kryptonite like like uh, Nadal is Federer's kryptonite because I don't feel that that uh, uh, the matchup between Djokovic and Nadal is that one-sided uh, because Djokovic only leads 28-25 in the in the head to head matchup so it's he has only three more wins and the federer nadal matchup is it's it's more one sided to be quite honest but still nadal's biggest opponent nadal's biggest threat nadal's biggest uh, nemesis nadal's biggest kryptonite is definitely novak djokovic and you could feel that when when rafa nadal went on court he doesn't he doesn't start the match, the, his matches in that way. He he was missing a lot. He was um, uh, doing a, uh, uh, um, what to say? He was doing um, uh, uncharacteristic, unforced errors with his uh, forehand. His forehand is is his huge weapon, really, one of the greatest uh, shots that we have ever seen of all time. But. Um, that shot didn't work against Novak Djokovic, really. He tried to go deep, he tried to go um, uh, big, but uh, and he tried to go for the lines. And the reason I could I could see that the reason Nadal went for the lines against Djokovic because he has so tremendous respect for the Serb. He he doesn't go for the uh, so close to the lines against other opponents, really. He but against Djokovic. He really tried to 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 go for all the lines, and they went mostly out, and that's why he made twenty eight unforced errors. Uh, so that's one thing. He his forehand didn't work really, and um, but in the end of the day, people, everybody can have a bad day on the office. Even though we haven't we haven't seen Nadal have those de those bad days many times in his career, because I have said before and I will say it again, Nadal is the most consistent tennis player of all time in my opinion. He never makes disaster matches, like for like for example, Federer can do. Even Djokovic can do, to be quite honest, people sometimes he can really really make disaster matches. He doesn't do it a, a, a lot, but. More than Nadal, I have seen him do, especially in the past. But Nadal is definitely the the player I have seen. I I I have not seen do disaster matches a lot of times. People, I'm I must know I must 
admit that this match against Novak Djokovic, he probably has done his worst match in his career, really. I think so. I Maybe I'm wrong, I maybe I'm right. I don't know. Personally, I have not seen Nadal do a worse match than this match against Djokovic, really. Of course, he has been blown away from the court in the in in the past also. Be, one match I I can think about uh, at at the moment is the match against uh, Juan Martin Del Potro in the U.S. Open 2009. Uh, um, Rafa Nadal was blown away from the court. Really, he did, he didn't have any chance. But Del Potro was ruthless in that match. I have never seen Del Potro do a performance like that. Really. He was hitting big from forehand, from backhand, from serve. He was returning well. Del Potro has never made a match like that again. Even, even in the final, the same year, the US Open against Roger Federer, he didn't do. He didn't do the, the same kind of performance. Really, he he did a great performance against Federer as well, but definitely not the same performance the same good of level as he did against Nadal in the semi-finals really so I didn't in my opinion Nadal was not a, did not do a disaster match against Del Potro in the 2009 US Open it, that's that's my feeling anyway but against Djokovic he I want I, do, I don't want to say that he did a disaster match because he didn't do 50 60 unforced errors and things like that in my opinion when you do when you do over 50 60 unforced errors then you have done a pretty pretty horrible match but he is under 40 unforced errors even under 30 really he 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 did 28 unforced errors so he didn't do a disaster match but he definitely didn't do a good match and what i was uh, what i was feeling about nadal's match is that all right, he did have he did he did had a bad day, and he faced uh, Novak Djokovic from 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 another planet. Really, he he made a, an, from another planet match that day. No quest, no doubt about that. But I I doubt Nadal's game plan as well. Really, if you have a bad if you have a bad day, that's fine. Everybody can have that. Even Nadal, he's human. He's human too, after all. But when you do a bad and poorly game plan then I don't know Nadal should look to himself in the mirror and say to himself I really didn't do a, a good I really didn't do a good game plan match because we all know that Novak Djokovic has one of the greatest backhands of all time really and we know that Nadal loves to to target his opponent's backhands and that that game plan works against anybody in the world really against anybody because a lot of p of players in the otp tour mostly of them at least not all of them but mostly of them their weakest shot is the backhand many of the otp tour players have great forehands really but the weakest shot of mostly of the otp tour players are their backhands and rafael nadal gets a lot of points when he attacks his opponent's backhand because he has a great forehand and he and he has a high spin and that's uh, that hurts a lot of his opponents mostly of his opponents really but against Novak Djokovic that doesn't hurt him that doesn't bother him at all he he loves to take that ball on the rise he, he that he 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 loves when Nadal hits loppy high top spins forehands in the in his backhand side because he just steps in takes it on the rise and hits winners so and nadal did hit a lot of forehands uh, to the uh, novak Djokovic backhand a lot and he lost a lot of points in that way so that in my opinion was very very strange and very very poorly game plan from not only Nadal but the whole Nadal team before the match because they should know that you cannot play against Novak Djokovic in that way because you will lose and of course Nadal lost and he lost it in lost and he lost very badly as well and th that's what that was one thing the other thing was the returns Nadal Nadal had poorly returned in this match really Novak Djokovic won 84% 
of his second service, 84% people. He even won less in, the, in, in his first service, 82%. So Novak Djokovic, for Novak Djokovic, it didn't matter if he served first serve or second serve, because Nadal was not good in, in the return games. He was not hurting Djokovic, because he was, he was standing too far behind from baseline. And it is the same way here. He hurts the, his opponents, all of, all of the other opponents in, that, in, the, in this way. He takes two, three steps back and hits high top, uh, high top spins forehand and pushes his, his uh, opponents back on the court. But not against Novak Djokovic, because he, Novak Djokovic, people, we, sh we should not forget, he is one of the greatest ball striker of all time. Maybe even the greatest of all time. Maybe even the maybe even the greatest ball striker of all time, really. He don't know how to miss, especially when he's when he's hitting the ball really clean, like he did in the final. And Nadal to return like that with high top spins, that's a very, very game bad game plan. And that's why Novak Djokovic won 84% of his second service. So Nadal people didn't do a a great performance, really. If I should give Nadal a grade from 1 to 5, I will give Nadal a 2, really. Not 1, but a 2. He did not do a disaster match, but he did not do a great match. Not even a good match, really. He did a bad match, to be quite honest. That's my feeling, and that's why I wanted to do a, 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 another reaction video part 2 about this Arsenal Open final and I hope you people enjoyed this and I hope you and I hope we, we, we're gonna see again next time take care goodbye